everybody. Welcome back. Today we're brewing up some Brewer's Best Kelch. K-O-L-S-C-H. Um, what Brewer's Best says about this is that it's a crisp, clean, easy drinking ale. It has a straw yellow hue similar to a Pilsner, but is less hoppy, a bit sweeter, and uses pale malts and a small amount of weed. So, uh, you know, it sounds great. Uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to trying it. Uh, when we get done with it. So what comes in the kit? Well, as always, you get the Brewer's Best Instruction Kit. It gives you the step-by-step -step on uh, what you need to do to, to make it. You'll get the grains. You'll get a grain bag. You'll get your liquid malt extract. You're going to get uh, two pounds of dry malt extract. Uh, you will get a, a grain bag, by the way. You're going to get uh, your hops, your bittering, and your aroma hops. I like to use hop bags up to you. Many people just throw them in the way they are. Uh, you'll also get your yeast, and you'll get, for the bottling process, you'll get your uh, priming sugar and your bottle cap. So obviously we don't need to worry about that uh, for a couple weeks, so I'll set those to the side. Now what are you going to need? Well, obviously you're going to need some sort of a kettle to brew with. Um, you're going to need an ale pail uh, for fermenting, an airlock, which would go on top of it. You'll need your spoon, a thermometer, and you'll need some tubing so you can drop your uh, wort from your kettle down into your fermenting bucket. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is obviously sanitizer. Uh, again, I use star sand, and my word of caution is just don't get it on your countertops, even in the diluted form, so steer clear. Uh, the other things that you might want, uh, I have an aeration wand and some oxygen. I like to aerate the wort. Uh, I always say get the hydrometer, because all your friends are going to ask you what the alcohol content is uh, of your brew, so it's good to know. You may want to use a wort chiller, or you may just want to set your pot down into a bed of ice and let it chill that way. I like the word chiller, um, so that's what I use. So that's pretty much it. Uh, let's get started. Okay, step one is to get your water temperature up to 150. Between 150 and 165, don't go over 165. Once you have your water up to at least 150, go ahead and you've already put your grains in the, the grain bag, go ahead and set them in and we're gonna and don't compact them just let them sit loosely and we're gonna tie them off I tie them off right here on the handle and we're gonna let those steep uh, for 20 minutes and uh, then we'll come back and uh, go from there. Okay, we've reached the uh, end of the 20 minute uh, steeping time and all I'm gonna do now is just let the grain bag drain I'm not gonna squeeze it just let it drain and uh, at this point, we're going to bring the water to a rolling boil. And uh, as soon as that happens, uh, we'll be ready to add the liquid malt extract. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, we've got our rolling boil going, so it's time to add the liquid malt extract, which you should have preheated already and uh, removed the label. Uh, if you have any uh, desire to dip the container in, you'll uh, want to do that. And I typically do dump it uh, right into the, the wort to make sure that I get every bit of it out. Now, again, you want to make sure you don't have a boil over to do this. So this step really just centers around getting the liquid malt extract into the wort, and then we'll bring it back up to a boil, and then the next step will be to add the bittering hops. So we'll be back in a few minutes uh, when it's time to throw the hops in. Okay, we're back up to a gentle boil now, so we're gonna put in our bittering hops, and as I mentioned, I like to put them in a bag. You can sprinkle them in if you like. And this starts the 40 minute boil. Now, in between, about 20 minutes in, I'm going to drop in my wort chiller. Uh, when we get done with the 40 minute boil, we'll be coming back and we'll be adding the uh, dry malt extract. So, back in, back in 40. Okay, we've reached the uh, end of our 40 minute boil, so now we're going to add our dry malt extract. Again, 
you need to be careful that you don't have a boil over at this point. Uh, so just keep an eye on it and if it, it starts just get ready to get down to turn your heat down a little bit. Um, once we get this in, we're going to go on a five minute boil and after that we will uh, go ahead and put the aroma hops in and then we'll be on a 10 minute boil. So at this point all I really have to do is concern myself with getting the dry, dry malt extract in, not having a boil over, getting it stirred in good, and then getting back up to a boil for five minutes. So, uh, as I've mentioned before, I like to go into plastic containers if I can, because using the plastic bags, you can see what's happening just from the steam. It starts to chunk up. Well, with the plastic container, you can always dip it down in, uh, and you'll be, you, you'll be in good shape. Uh, to get everything out. So anyway, that's it. I'll keep working on this and uh, we'll be back in uh, probably about five minutes. We've got the uh, five minute boil done so uh, with the dry malt so now it's time to put in the aroma hops and now we're on a 10 minute boil so uh, back in 10. We're completed with our 10 minute boil on the aroma hops so we can actually terminate the boil at this point and start the work chiller which I'll do. And now it's just a matter of dropping the temperature to 70 degrees. Now if you don't have a wort chiller you can certainly move your wort into, the, into a basin of ice and get it to chill down that way. Uh, I like using the wort chiller, it works fine for me. So uh, that's it for now. This is going to take a while to cool down, usually about 20 minutes. Uh, so. When that's done, I'll get a hydrometer reading. Uh, we'll have moved the uh, wort into the fermenting bucket, and uh, then we'll have to aerate the wort and pitch the yeast. And uh, I'm hydrating the yeast uh, for this specific brew. Uh, you don't need to, you can sprinkle it right on top of the wort, but I'm gonna go ahead and hydrate it, uh, which is basically putting it into four ounces of water, uh, warm water, I believe uh, somewhere around 90 degrees letting it sit for 15 minutes and then stirring it uh, and letting it sit for like another five. So uh, anyway, that, those are the tasks that we have yet to do. So let's let this get chilled down and we'll be back. I'm uh, chilling the wort down to 70 degrees. So I am just going to throw the valve and we're going to let this fill up and then we'll uh, come back, aerate it and uh, pitch the yeast. And in the meantime, I'll get a hydrometer read. I've done a hydrometer reading and I'm at 1.046, which is right in the target of uh, where we need to be. So the next step is to aerate the wort. So let's get my wand going here. And again, I don't throw a lot of oxygen at it fast, I just slowly trickle it in there uh, for about 30 to 50 seconds. probably barely see what's happening here, but I'm just letting it slowly work its way through the wort. Again, this just provides a good level of oxygen for the yeast. oxygen coming through the stone and put it down in the sanitizer just so I try and keep that stone as clean as I possibly can. Once that's done all we have left to do is pitch the yeast and you can see this has turned out really nice and we're just going to drop it in and then just make sure it gets mixed under. And that's it. So now all I have to do is throw the uh, lid on, uh, put a little water in the uh, sanitized airlock, 
and uh, we're ready for this thing to start fermenting. So back in a few. All right, that's it for brewing uh, Brewer's Best Kulch, or Kelch, or however you'd like to pronounce it. There's a hundred different ways. Let's kick back with a little Brewer's Best Scottish Ale. You can see that brewing that was very easy. And if it tastes as good as it smelled, it's going to be a great brew. Cheers. That's outstanding. So, next time we get together, hopefully we'll be tasting the uh, pumpkin ale. And uh, then after that, this should be uh, falling into place. So, until next time, have a great homebrew Wednesday and uh, a great week. And cheers. This has been a Maddie Boy presentation. Say bye bye, Maddie. Bye bye.